deliverance. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. The magician is in the reverse, Librans. Okay. Then in the first week, you're dealing with the king of swords. You men, you Libran men, the magician is in the reverse. Whatever is transpiring the second week. I see also the young men between the ages of 18 and 35 is coming up. Uh, then we see the seven of wands. It's as if some of you have no grounds to stand on. A lot of you are having problems with your boss. That is, uh, um, yes. And then I see the six of swords. Some sort of a problem is coming up with, um, um, you getting goods in. Okay. And I see the energy of Luna, the moon, secrecy secrecy okay then we see the ten of swords they recognize some sort of a deceptive play and someone wanted me to lay the cards out um on camera and this is what happened i have to kind of figure them out all right and then we see the ace of swords so i see they're going to be taking down some of you people um um some of you, there is some sort of a secrecy at the work floor or um, within a business, okay? There is some sort of a secrecy. Now, um, let's look at the energy of the magician. The magician is about you off all the tools to move forward, but you Librans, it's, um, it's not a go. It's not a go for you Librans. In this month, there is no changes. It's not a good month to make any changes, Whenever the energy of the magician uh, is as if some of you Librans lose your confidence. And I see a lot of you Librans are going to be have the, dealing with a Gemini, Gemini, some sort of a communication with a Gemini. Okay, so um, some sort of a communication. Who is this Gemini? Is it your boss? Is it a co-worker? Because they have taken your confidence away. So a lot of you Librans could be dealing with a Gemini, okay? So you recognize that the magician energy is about confidence and your confidence is not there. And whatever is transpiring, a whole lot of you Librans are dealing with a Gemini, okay? Whoever this Gemini is, uh, um, this Gemini man is coming up as a boss. Now, this is really not a pleasant um, month because it's a month where secrecy and the secrecy that is going to be coming out all right so in your uh, foundation you have um the ace of swords okay and that is about power thinking mental clarity and creative thinking so that is good because it's in the upright so in your foundation your foundation is going to be good because um, you know, the mental clarity is here. You can focus on your work. But when we look at the King of Swords in the reverse, this is not very good. The King of Swords in the reverse facing the magician is not very good because a lot of you are dealing with your boss that is a Gemini. Okay? A lot of you are dealing with your boss. Then we look at the center and we see the air of hair, which is... Uh, um, people between the ages of 25 and um, and 45, there is some serious situation that is going on for people between the ages of 25 and 45. Some real serious situation where the Ten of Swords is the sun in Gemini. So whatever is happening between you Librans and the Gemini of the workplace, the Gemini is going to be winning. Okay, so whatever, this is a powerful month where the Geminis are ruling, okay? And you, a Libran, your boss could be a Gemini. And I see your boss is really have it out for you. Again, the Seven of Wands. What is the energy of the Seven of Wands? It is about Mars in Leo, and it's in reverse, Mars and Leah, and Leah is going to be getting fired. Okay. Mars and Leah, and Leah is going to be getting fired. So if you notice, your Gemini boss is like 
cleaning up. Whatever is happening, your Gemini voice is about cleaning up. And whoever this young person is, whether it's you Librans or you have a Gemini boss, they're going to be firing you or firing a Leo. Okay. When we look at the Six of Swords, the Six of Swords is Mercury, uh, Mercury in Aquarian, Mercury in Aquarian. And if you recognize, uh, um, there's a whole lot of obscombling, a whole lot of, uh, um, yeah, problems, chaos that needs to be, um, bring to balance on the work floor. And, uh, we see here an Aquarian. There is uh, two energies of the Aquarian, especially in the last week. A lot of you are going to be dealing with the Aquarian and, and it's about some sort of a communication, but a, 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 an Aquarian found out something. Whoever this Aquarian is found out something that there was some sort of a secrecy, um, that Aaliyah had. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I see a Virgo man. Um, it's definitely going to be fine. A Leo. Because the seven of wands is about uh, the energy of uh, Mars in Leo. So whoever this Mars, this Leo man is, Mars is about uh, um, a, a transition, changes. And, and these changes are like massive changes. And whatever is transpiring, a Virgo boss is going to be creating some sort of a massive changes. And I see a Gemini man who is your boss. You're going to be having some serious issues. So let's see in the first week. The first week, a lot of you are dealing with a Gemini. Um, boss of supervisor or a Gemini man at the work floor. Now, this Gemini man is... Uh, let's say 45 years and older. And this Gemini man, um, you know, is standing his ground against you, Libran and a Leo. And they are coming at this uh, Libran. It's as if this uh, Gemini, this boss, whoever this boss is, the supervisor, personal officer, is basically, is not dealing with a situation. They're like, uh, I'm ending this and they're coming after you. So you liberals between the ages of 25 and 45, there is just 25, 45. Yes, there is just, uh, um, people have it out for you. Liberals, people really have it out for you. They have it out for you at the workplace. I don't know what you have said, but I see that this Gemini person is coming at you with, some sharp word liberals, okay? And the Ten of Swords is is about the sun in Gemini. So the, the Geminis are going to be winning. Whatever is happening and transpiring Libran, the Geminis are going to be winning. And there is no there there is no question about this because whatever your secrets is um Libran, the Geminis are going to be winning and the Geminis are going to be bringing out the secrets now the energy of the seven of ones is a serious energy because the seven of one energy whenever mars comes up in and leo especially in the reverse i see that some of you young libran are are having it out with a leo but a leo is about to take you down and you're not even really recognizing that because a leo is going to be communicating with a Libran over you, Gemini, over, over you, Libran. So a Libran, whoever this Libran is, um, you Librans, a Leo, I throw you under the bus. Okay. So be aware of that, Librans. Stay away from this the Leo. Cause a tower moment, if you're a Libran that is connecting with a tower, with, with a Leo on the work floor, stay away because this Leo is under some sort of an investigation. Venus in Aries. Um, Venus in Aquarian. Venus in Aquarian and it's in the reverse. So this Leo don't really like you. Okay. This Leo really doesn't like you. This Leo don't like you. 
and Libran, you're standing up, but this Leo don't like you. Venus in Aquarius. So, you know, stay away. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, stay away from this person. This person, this Leo person have a lot of secrets. And they have a lot of secrets about money and how they make their money and where they get their money from. Okay. And um, if you go along with this person, whether as a colleague or outside the work floor, you also are going to be placed on the investigation because they're recognizing um, that you liberals together with this Leo, this Leo is going to be dragging you down in whatever they're going through because uh, um, this Leo is on the investigation because they recognize all of a sudden um, either this Leo business or this uh, Leo at the work floor, I see this uh, um, the, uh, Venus in Aquarian, and it's not good, okay? When Venus is in Aquarian in the reverse, that means there is some sort of an investigation. They're, they're investigating some sort of a secrecy that a Leo holds. And Libran, stay away from this Leo because I see they recognize that this Leo had lied. They recognize that this Leo had lied, okay? So whoever this Leo is, they recognize that this Leo had lied. I see they are, are, are seeing the truth of this Leo and who this Leo is and what this Leo is doing. So the Ten of Swords is, uh, um, you know, Librans, don't try to fight with your Gemini boss because a Leo is going to be stabbing you in your back, okay? Um... So, Libran, stay away from this Gemini boss because I that's this this Leo is um survival is the key. This Leo have animal instinct, okay? They they really don't care. Uh, however, they get their money, that is it for for the rest. They don't really care about you, Librans, and that is the truth. And this Leo have a whole lot, and this Leo is under a huge, a huge. Um, I have a whole lot of secrets and Venus in Aquarian, that means um, Aquarian is always about some, uh, you see Aquarian with the moon, secrecy. And this Leo is not in a positive position and they recognize, a Gemini man recognize that a Leo had lied. A Gemini man recognized that a Leo had lied. So Librans, if I were you, I would stay far away from this Leo because this Leo, a tower moment is about to come down for this Leo and you are going to be going down with them also. So however this is coming up, uh, um, the advice is to stay away from this Leo because sometimes, uh, you know, people cut you off and the rest of it and they're recognizing something about a Leo. Some something that a Leo have done, they're now looking at it. And you Librans are, are communicating or is going out after work, um, um, out the work time. You're going with this Leo and you're not aware of that this Leo have a whole lot of secrets. So, you know, you're been warned and whatever problem you have with a Gemini boss, I think it's better for you to keep quiet because um, if you don't keep quiet, they're going to be taking you down. I got a girl. Namaste. If you want to see the extended of this reading, use the, the first um, subscription. And I'll speak to you next time. Show your loves by thumbs up. Namaste.